This is a picture that I regenerated using AI, but this is the original picture. So basically, I'm using AI to make this person to be on a different environment or even different activity. And yet I was able to make the character like the face, the outfit, etc. to be consistent. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a consistent character. Well, actually how to create or how to make your character to be consistent regardless of the background, the setting or the environment that the character is in. So the tool that you can use is called Dreamina CapCut. So this is a free tool from the ByteDance company, which is the same company that made TikTok and CapCut. So the first thing that you need to do is that you have to go to your browser and then open dreamina.capcut.com. Uh, this is basically the URL, dreamina.capcut.com. And then you can sign in using your CapCut account. And that's basically the only way you can login or use this tool and after that click image generator so here uh this is just a few images that i just created before don't worry about that now as a demonstration i will try to copy this character into a new ai image so i'm going to go to dreamy now and then i'm going to click reference right here oh by the way remember you have to select the generate images section and click reference and then here i'm going to select this picture and basically uh, it's going to recognize what's going on on the screen so i do recommend to select either human face or character so basically the difference is human face with, will only uh, capture the character or the face of the person but the character option will capture not only the face but also the outfit of the person so it's up to you whether you want to maintain or make the face consistent or the whole character to be consistent so for this example i will make the character to be consistent and after that just click save and you can start typing the prompt for the image in this case i will create a Let's say a person to be riding a horse, maybe a white horse, something like that. And after that, uh, right now the only model that is able to create or use a reference image is image 2.0. Unfortunately, we cannot use CDream 3.0, which is the best model at the moment, but that's okay. And you can select the aspect ratio and after that, you can click the generate image button. So this process will take less than one minute most of the time and it will generate four different images. And hopefully one of them would satisfy what I would imagine if I put this character on a different environment, especially when she's riding a horse. All right, this is the result. You can see that there are four different images and they do have a variety of qualities so some of them don't look great but some of them do look really great so for example this one i think is still it's i would say one of the best uh, the image looks fantastic and overall it looks like a real picture but the other two like especially this picture and this picture the anatomy especially the uh the ratio or the shape of the body just doesn't feel right like we can tell that the leg feels short the same is true for this picture. The leg looks uh, unusually short and also just doesn't look right. But the last picture and the first one, they do look amazing. So uh, that's basically how you can create or how you can put your character. It could be maybe your face or your selfie photo into a different environment and you can maintain the outfit or your facial detail on a different AI image. So I hope you find this video to be useful and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.